Warren here again for the Sabermetrics Network trying to get you through your Thursday here on a 4th of July week. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about weighted on base average from Fangraphs. It's w, small w capital OBA. It's on the same scale as on base percentage. And I'm taking it straight off the Fangraphs library that you can see at Fangraphs.com. I should note, Steve Slowinski, one of my colleagues at Fangraphs, did a great job of putting together a Fangraphs library. And you should go check it out if you do get a chance. So, with on base average was basically devised by Tom Tango, probably know him as Tango Tiger, basically to figure out offensive value and, and basically rationalizing that all hits aren't created equal, even though batting average and on base percentage make you feel like they are. And basically it weights hits in a certain way because obviously a double isn't worth twice as much as a single necessarily. So what it does is it takes constants that it multiplies based on linear weights. That's probably a concept that you are likely familiar with if you are checking out the Sabermetrics Network after all. But basically what it is, and I'm going to read the, the equation off the screen and hopefully you can follow it with me. Weighted on base average equals, and then in parentheses, 0.69 times unintentional walks. So intentional walks are not included. So 0.69 is the constant that is devised to show basically the relative value for an unintentional walk. Then added to that is 0.72 times hit by pitch. So hit by pitch is supposedly a little bit more valuable, due in large part probably because of what it means for the pitcher to hit somebody versus unintentionally walking them. Even more important yet, a, wa a single, which is the next step up, is, is a 0.89. Typically, that would mean more of a failing by the pitcher than a walk or a hit by pitch. So, 0.89 times number of singles, 1.26 times the number of doubles, 1.6 times the number of triples, 2.08 times the number of home runs, plus 0.25 per stolen base, minus 0.50 per caught stealing. So, that makes kind of sense when you think about wanting to steal two bases for every time you get caught to break even. So basically what this equation is doing is, is effectively weighting each of these outcomes in a way that, that is really fair to each of them. And now these constants change year to year. Obviously if the offensive run environments are a little bit more prolific, they will break it down and see if maybe home runs are the cause or if doubles are the cause, anything like that. And over on Fangraphs, we do have the option for you to, to check out the different content, contexts and constants from those specific years dating back all the way to 1871, back in the, the good old days of yore. So basically how it breaks down is it's on the scale of on-base percentage as you or I might know. So basically if you are 400 or better, you're, just, you're absolutely terrific, and, and very few players are above 400 on a regular season. So... Basically, it's it's about the same kind of league average scale. If you're 340 or above, you're you're better than average. 320 or above, you're average. In 2011, 316 was the league average for weighted on base average. Now, I'm going to break that down here for you a little bit because we have the time and I I can do that for you. First baseman had the highest average weighted on base average. They and the DHs combined for a 337 average weighted on base average. So. Basically what you see there is why it's so much tougher to find a replacement level first baseman, but also why first basemen aren't considered as difficult to to be valued as far as first base uh, in, in war, because war has a higher replacement value for first base. Rather, it's a lower lower figure. It's, um, it's hard for me to describe off the top of my head right now, but basically... First basemen need to be very offensively adept if they're going to be better than replacement average or replacement level, or so to speak. So right field checks in behind first base and DH at a 334 average weighted on base average. And then you go to center field, which was strangely better than left field at 324 for center and 320 for right, rather left. So a little bit surprising to me when you think about center field not as often being an offensively driven position, Oftentimes you'll find the, the better glove that will stick in center field. A guy like Ben Revere or Denard Spann may not have the offensive proclivity or, or production. And so that was, that was interesting to me to see that. Now, it's quite a big jump from, from left field down to third base. Third base is the first position that's under the league average at 309. You got catcher at 307. Second base checks in also at 307. 
303 for short steps, and then pitchers obviously going to bring up the rear at 162. So basically, you can see how position scarcity offensively can be a big thing when it comes to finding a long term shortstop who can field and hit or things of that nature. Now, basically, the curve of league weighted on base average from the last 10 years is an M. Obviously, as we came down from the steroid era, it was a little bit higher, but it's basically gone pretty pretty straight from 2001 to 2005. Then there was a little bump in 06 and 07 before coming down, and now we're considerably down. Offensive values peaked in 2006 with a weighted on base average of an average weighted on base average. It's hard to get all those averages in there. Uh, 332 in 2006. This year, rather last year, 316. So. 15 points is a pretty big deviation if you if you really take into consideration how little of a sample we're, we're using here. So um, a couple things to note, again, stolen bases and caught stealing are included in the value. One thing that's not is intentional walks, which to me is interesting because it obviously isn't supposed to be as much of an indicator of individual value as it is team value. So you may not be intentionally walked if you're Miguel Cabrera and you have eight nobodies around you. or You'd be more likely to be intentionally walked, and that's not indicative necessarily of you, but the context around you, and so we don't want to adjust for that. Or maybe we can't adequately adjust for that, so we don't include that. So it's 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 kind of a cool thing to to really take a look at, and Obviously, it allows some guys who steal bases but don't hit as much for power to, to even it out a little bit. So, thanks for checking in with me here on this Thursday. Next week, I will plan to look at the trade value series if it's unrolled by Dave Cameron and, and company at Fangraphs, taking a look at the top 50 players in the major leagues and what they are worth in a trade and just kind of take a glance at that. So, thanks for joining me, and I hope you have a great day and a great weekend, and see you next Thursday.